Hey everybody, it's Ben here, and today I got a roof rake. I got this snow rake in the mail. It was $28, including tax, and shipping was free. This is a 21-foot long snow rake. Uh, it is a four-section collapsible aluminum pole with a plastic blade on the end. Uh, there's also an aluminum one available, but I figured that would scratch my panel, so I went with plastic. Uh, this can reach the bottom two rows of my solar panels. Um, it's not quite long enough to be able to reach that top row, that third row. Um, in fact, I am able to get a little tiny bit of that third row, but only by really reaching, and I have to be right up to the edge of the garage. Um, actually, at that point, I can't even see where I'm reaching, but I could get a little bit of that third row of the solar panels. Um, one thing I have noticed is that with the very, very cloudy weather, um, it's actually cloudiness is worse. It, it's the worst problem um, compared to snow cover in terms of the solar production. Now, if it was a sunny day and the panels were covered with snow, that would be different. But typically around here, it's just very, very gray out when we have snow. I did notice that this roof rake does tend to catch on the mid clamps between the solar panels. Those are Iron Ridge UFOs. Uh, the top of them just sticks up a little bit, uh, but it's just enough to kind of catch the, the blade of the plow. Um, if it was a foam or a squeegee style head, it might go over that a little bit better. Um, I was also curious as to, since I could get a little bit of the top row of solar panels, if maybe if things warmed up or if the, a little bit of sun came out, um, maybe that would melt and slide down. Uh, I did take a photograph later in the day when there was a little bit of that, but it's not as though it, it slid off. It just kind of slipped down a little bit. So overall, the roof rake works pretty well for getting snow off the solar panels. It's not very creative, but it is pretty practical. Um, it's also, it's a little tiring. It's not uh, that heavy of a device, but with it fully extended and working overhead like that, uh, can make your shoulders sore, kind of like uh, paddling a kayak. Uh, but overall, it works pretty well. And of course, whatever gets raked off the roof has to then get shoveled off the driveway. Now, in this case, it's not very much snow at all, but in a heavier snowstorm, uh, it could be considerable. <laughs> 